Uh, hey guys, this is Mike. Um, I want to do a little review on this. My uh, buddy bought this for me here a couple of days ago, told me to tear it on my motorcycle. Um, my GPS and cell phone and stuff like that should charge off this. It's actually a Thunderbolt Magnum solar power pack from Harbor Freight. And, uh, well, we, you know, I use my GPS on my bike quite a bit and no way to charge it up. And also my phone, if, it, if I don't happen to charge it up. I don't use my phone too often, so I don't always have it on the charger. One thing I do notice is right here is the length of the power cord. It's probably less than 10 inches at least. And uh, that's that could be a problem, but I, we could probably do away with it, you know, find a new one or something. But it has attachments, different ones. I that's for the iPod or iPhones. Um, you know, so it's got what two, four, six, seven different attachments. Looks like it's uh, a one watt peak. Um, monocrystalline um, solar type it does have an emergency flashlight in it I don't know if you can see it right there at three LEDs um, pretty bright I've had it out of the package and tinkered with it um, you can't charge your phone just off the battery it, it will give you a little bit but not enough to do much more than a couple, you know, maybe a couple percentage when you charge. But, uh, as you can see, it's also got a little red, red light. It's already actually charging right now. Uh, I'll be taking it out of the package here in a minute and um, show you the charge of my phone. And, uh, we'll plug it in and get in the sun and let you see what it is, and I'll tell you how it turns out. Alright, I got it out of the pack. Um, it's not real big. There's the LEDs right here. And you got your place for your wire. And this looks to me like the place where you just plug uh, the end of your adapter in. But it won't go inside of it. I'm not sure exactly. And then this is your on and off switch for your LEDs. As you can see, they're pretty bright. Uh, it does have a nice little clip on the back. That will help out when I uh, have it on the bike. I can clamp it on the windshield or even on your belt buckle if you wanted to or backpack, whatever you're walking around with. Um, so, and it is charging. Like I said, it's got a nice LED. Pretty bright. And I'm right in front of a window, so... Um, that's pretty nice. So, I guess next thing I'm going to do is take it and plug it into the phone and see what it does. Alright, we're outside on the deck. It's going to be really hard for you to see what my phone is at. Um, yeah. um, I don't know if you can see that or not on the camera. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. It's going to be kind of hard to do one handed. But, uh, give me a second. Alright, sorry about that. I am plugged in. Um, actually, I'm not seeing nothing. Okay, there we go. It is showing charge. Well, it was showing charge. It said 67%. Okay, so we're going to leave the phone set out here for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Let's just see what it does. It is in pretty good sun. I am going to cover my phone up, though, so it don't get too hot. 
And the nice thing is, I also got a little strap. I don't care about that, but um, yeah, well, let us set five or ten minutes, and we'll come back out and check on it. Remember, it's sixty seconds. So let's just say. All right, we'll check back. All right, guys. Um, it's been about fifteen minutes. That the phone's been out there charging. Figured while I'm waiting, I'll do a little bit more here. Uh, it just becomes is a decent little outfit. One thing I would ask for them to do differently would be a longer cord and maybe even a little carry case so you can it, not get it all beat up. But you know, it's hard to freight, so I guess you can't ask for a whole bunch. Um, it, like I said, it does come with several attachments for different devices. Um, I taped them in because they kept falling out, so I'm not going to pull them out and show you every little one. But they have just about every attachment that you can, that you're going to need. Um, like I said, I wish I knew the price. I should call and find out the price. Maybe I will, and if I do, I'll put it in the description down below. But, I don't know if you can read it. This camera kind of it isn't the best. I mean, it's a nice one, but it doesn't focus the best on up close. But, uh, anyway, yeah. I yeah, I think it's going to be alright, to be honest with you. Um, of course, my GPS I have plugged in all the time. So one day I'm going to have to run it down and use it like that and test it. See if I can charge it up with it. But it seems to be charging within five minutes. I checked it and it already went up 1%. I believe it was 67% when I uh, first hooked it up. And it was at 68 in five minutes. Grant, that's only 1%. But uh, that's not. Not really any faster than what my uh, regular car charger or house charger actually does. But like I said, the cord is my one big issue. Um, trying to charge a device that close to your other device it means you have to leave it in the sun as well. And we all know that phones and anything else should not be left in the sun, direct sunlight. So I'm going to look around and find me a longer cord. I have a bunch of odd and un cords around. I may have one that fits these plugs. If not, maybe I'll have one that will fit just my phone or whatever. Uh, or I'll just have to make one maybe. If it works good. Alright, well, here in a minute we'll go out and check it. I figure we'll give it another five minutes or so. And then we'll go out and look at it. Okay, we're back outside. It's been just about 20 minutes. I went ahead and come out and checked it. And I don't know if you can see that, but it does read. Well, I lost it. Hold on. 74%. Um, I hope you can read that. Um, so in 20 minutes, this went up, what, 7? I think 7%. It's charging. And it's charging pretty decent. So, and it's got a cloudy day. It's, um, nice, sunny, but it's behind the clouds a lot of times. So, it's direct sun. As you can see, the shades out there. It's sunny now. The sun came out finally. And that's when we're going to get our good charge but uh yeah I think if you uh, want a small little compact charger um for your little devices you know here I put it on this bike is what I do uh, I'm right against the railing so I can't yeah my bike's up on my porch right now uh my shed's got some stuff in there I can't put it back in and lock it up so I need to take it back down to the storage unit Anyhow, yeah, that's uh, about it. Well, I believe that's a, a positive thing for me. It's already up to 75 now. 
So it's going up. So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and call that a, a good little investment.